Hey y'all, what's up? So, there is a new arrival. So this is the BoxyCharm Premium for November. And so excited, I have definitely not cracked into it at all. So I'm really excited to figure out what I have. This month seems super light. So I'm really pretty interested to see what's in here. It almost feels like nothing's in here, but let's see. All right, so this is what the box is gonna look like. Okay. And so of course we know that the month is themed of the harvest. And the first thing that I see here is the, it looks like Illamasqua palette. This was actually a choice item and I did choose this palette. Okay, let me push this back a little bit. So let's get in here. It feels pretty heavy. So it says it has 12 highly pigmented eyeshadows. Uh oh, let me not cut up the box. Okay. This is how it comes like that. Where is this made? Okay, so this actually says that it's made in Paris. Cruelty and vegan, cruelty free and vegan. Oh yeah, this is nice. It's such a smooth, like mauve kind of color and it feels so nice. It feels very buttery, if that makes sense. It feels like an eye, like a really buttery eyeshadow, like if that makes sense. So this is what it looks like on the back. And here is the color selection. Hope y'all can see that. So looks like the only place that you get your names is gonna be on this sheet, which is a little unfortunate because I never keep these. So this is what they look like. Pretty nice. Um I wish that there were kind of more variations. These three shades down here kind of look very, very similar. But, I mean, that's that's cool. So, let's see how much this retails for. Um, so, this is the Unveiled Artistry Palette, and it retails for $50. This box um, comes monthly as well, and it costs $35. And, yeah, so let's move on to the rest. Okay, so the next thing I see are these cosmetic brushes. And this is what they look like. So I don't know if y'all can see, but they're kind of like, there's like a very textured end right here. Um, I've actually had one of these before. I think I, I can't remember where I picked it up from, but it was the same like bumpy type of texture. So that's nice because I don't use that one anymore. I got it a while ago. So this is actually to apply cleanser and masks. And I really like this because I have several masks that I hate putting on my hand. And I know that silicone is typically like uh, like antibacterial or, and I, I'm not sure how they um, usually pronounce that, but yeah yeah so it even says that it prevents harboring bacteria so that's good and let's see how much this retails for $25 so that's cool the next thing is going to be the grown alchemist detox night cream and biological beauty so it's uh, Australian certified toxic free through a profound understanding of human bi biolog why can I not say that biologic biologic there's no logic biology cellular renewal a profound understanding of human biology and nutrients 
formulation. So that's basically it. So let's see what's in here. You guys, so these actually, this test, this tube right here feels like, I remember like, like when, when I color my wigs and stuff and when I was in hair school, um, the tubes were in this really hard foil one and we used to have this thing that would like crank it and like push everything out. That's the type of tube feeling that this is. Um, so I mean, it's just a detox cream. I hope it does something good. Keep saying advanced uh, detox, so I might actually have to try that. All right, and so that is gonna, what? Okay, so this says that it retails for $125, you guys. $125. Okay, so it says that it has different type of extracts. I'm not gonna try to pronounce those, but yeah. So let's see. This is a Color Block High Impact Lipstick by Ela. I don't know if I see that by either, but, and this is what the box looks like. It looks like they are also cruelty free. All right, pretty. So this is like a weird like metal packaging. Initially when I first touched it, it's kind of like the ones like if I hear screeching, it kind of reminds me of that. That's kind of why I grinded my teeth a little bit. It's weird, but um, yeah. Mm. This isn't a color that I would wear, so I'll probably give this away, but I'll swatch it for you guys. Mm. It looks almost like it got wet or something. I don't know. There's just, I don't think you guys can see, but do you see that? I mean, I'm, I don't, it doesn't look like it's been used, but it does look like. I don't know. I've never had that on any of my lip glosses, lipsticks, so just gonna swatch that. Oh, it kind of smells like, I mean, regular. Yeah, so this isn't like a color I would wear, so I'm definitely gonna give this away. Um, So the next one, oh, let's see what this retails for. So this retails for $28. This next one is gonna be Dose of Colors and in the shade Caffeine Queen. So I hope this is super cute. I've actually never, um, I don't, have a lot of dose of colors anyway but I've never um, picked up I guess this is like a individual eyeshadow I don't like those I kind of like palettes a lot so this is what the packaging looks like and I can already tell it's probably gonna be a little okay all right well this is what the color looks like um, it's very textured, so I'm not sure what type of formula this is. It's just a shimmer, a shimmery brown. So that's what you look like. It looks like I don't know if you guys can kind of see the reflectance in there, but that's cool. Looks like this is Block Party eyeshadow. The Adoso colors. Uh, this particular product is cruelty free. Um, and I guess that's vegan also. So, yeah. That's that. Alright, so let's see how much the Dose of Colors Block Party Eyeshadow retails for $20. Yeah, it's $20. This next product is the... I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna try. But you guys can see that there. 
and it's a duo, so that means it has two pencils in here, or it's double-sided. I mean, yeah, there's two pencils in here, which I'm not mad about pencils. So, okay, so it is a lip liner. Actually, you've been wanting more cool tone. Not cool, but just more brown without pink undertones. But that's not these two, so. This first one is, they don't have a name, it just has a number on it. It looks like they have the same number, so. Yeah, I'm not sure, let me see. These are also, this is also uh, vegan and cruelty free. So it doesn't really give the names of them. So this is the first color. I'm just gonna swatch that. It feels pretty good. So that's that color. I actually would wear, wear this for sure. Let's see how much product we get in here. I know this is like a habit of mine, but I always wanna see. Well, I mean, it's, oh, that stops. So that's how much product, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what it retails for after this next swatch. So this is the next one. I really don't wear pencils like this, but I'll swatch it. Yeah. But that's that. It is a very beautiful color. I will say that um, it didn't feel, they didn't mush. So they're very creamy, but you ever have like pencils like this that twist up? And they kind of mush and they're not like precise I didn't get that feel from here these so let's see what this retails for so this actually retails for $25 okay and it's formulated or it says it's infused with Jehovah seed oil shea butter yeah primarily that and they're both matte so that's really nice to know so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my makeup I'm gonna use the Illa Mascara palette, probably a lip pencil. I'm not gonna use anything else. I don't wanna use the Dosa colors either because I usually don't like metallics in my browns. So I'll do a little something with this and I'll see y'all on the other side, y'all.
start right off here. I used, I know my camera kind of cut out on you guys, but I used this shade, this shade, and this shade on the lids, um, as well as uh, these two and this one here. I only swatched that one. And um, I know you guys can't really see, but there was quite a bit of fallout that happened. But I will tell you that I'm very impressed with how um, the shades performed. They came off very, very easy. I didn't feel like I constantly needed to dip back in to make them work. So as far as like the foils here or the shimmers. Um, so, I mean, I really like these. So I'm just going to move on with the rest of my face.
Mm. All right, y'all. So this is the look. I have set my face, but I did not do my mascara because I don't like to damage my makeup if I happen to look down. So I'm just going to apply that. those with it y'all this eyelash is giving me a problem all right I'm gonna do a little at the bottom on the bottom lashes nothing too much This is still coming on. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna do, y'all. y'all so this is the final look and I love it so I needed to do some mixing and some some little some something with the lips but everything else is good I really like that eyeshadow palette I'm glad that I picked that and um yeah so I hope you guys like it I will be updating you guys on skincare products when I get a chance to use them so this is boxycharm premium for the month of November so I hope that you enjoyed it and don't forget to like comment and subscribe I love y'all so much thank you for supporting me hit that notification bell and um talk to y'all later bye